again with your hip mobility stability. So I'm taking a towel and I'm gonna put it so that my lower back, right where my waistband of my uh, pants are, it's right in there. So I'll make it where the, the arch in my spine is well supported and my natural curve. The chin, the same thing, you want to feel like you have that towel behind, if you have to, if you have to put a towel, it goes up behind your head, not your neck, so that you're looking there, not up here. When you look up, shoulders will go up. When you look forward, see that natural thing that happens with the shoulders? I'm not doing anything, it just happens with my head. So with pelvic tilt, we're gonna, I'm gonna put my hand up here just so you see what's going on. I'm gonna press into that towel and then let it go. I'm trying not to use my legs. I'm squeezing all the air out of the belly and then inhale. So when you feel, you've done it maybe about five, again, five to eight of those, and you feel the tilt, at the, at the top, your glutes should be relaxed, not tight. That way, I know you're not using your glutes, you're using your abs. Okay, so you're doing those tilts. Then, remove the blanket. You'll have that space in your lower back that you can flatten and arch. Flatten, the hip points drop, and then they come forward. So that's your pelvic tilt. These should be done every day. It's just so good for any lower back issues. It really helps a lot. It actually helps strengthen your form, your belly muscles here. So that's your pelvic tilt. From there, I'm gonna roll to the side, and then we're gonna go in the clamshell series. Clamshell series, knees are not so far bent up, they're just on an angle, a natural angle. Feet are stacked, and I, maybe you can see this because you're sitting on the floor, but see there's no space here. My hips are on a slant, so I'm gonna take my hand on my hip, and I'm gonna make that space, okay? We don't want to dump the ribs. You want to have a long spine. You're going to lift the knee up and down. The, what you want to keep feeling is that um, abduction without rolling back. So this leg stays very still. We don't kill the mouse. This is the mouse house. We don't kill the mouse. You'll do about 12 reps. Pause, make sure that you're stacked, and then we're gonna do internal rotation. Again, I'm looking for the pelvis to stay still, not rolling inward, okay? So you just turn in. So you'll feel a lot of muscles in your uh, obliques and your transverse abdominis work. 12 of those. You'll lift the knees just about hip distance, and we're gonna continue with internal rotation. Feel the rotation and come back to where you started. You've got about 12 of those. Anytime you need a commercial break, just bring your knee up and it'll help your hips relax because it'll start burning. Over time it won't burn and you can go through the whole series. So the, I did clamshell, reverse clamshell, floating reverse clamshell. Now I'm gonna straight, stretch out my leg, thighs stacked and reach up. You can put your hand on your, the floor to keep you stacked, your hand on hip, and you're just gonna turn. I'm turning in. Once again, internal rotation, big, okay? You'll do 12 of those. And then last but not least, you're gonna push your leg straight out. Feel like I got that space back. You'll do little lifts. Again, the magic number is 12. And then we're gonna take the leg back and around. So this is almost like our standing leg series, in a way. Feel the glute work, and then reverse it the other way. Typically, you guys will end up being here somewhere, and you're not even in your glute, you're using your hip flexors. I want you to feel that flexion, or extension in the hip, and around. So you're gonna have to hold on to the ground a little bit so you don't rock back. When you're done with all that, that glute will be on fire. You'll do a figure four stretch. Lift the leg up, grab onto the calf, rock it around, push the knee out, let the hip stretch, bring your foot down, let your hips drop to the side, open up the hip here, let it go to the other side, get a counter stretch, 
and then you'll just repeat all of that on the other side. At what point do you call 911? <laughs> <laughs> Do it in the gym so that I'm here to give you CPR. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. yeah.